Well, happening now, a local small business owner is helping out other small businesses with a place to show off and sell their merch. At Urbanite, customers can find unique, vintage, or innovative products for all kinds of everyday use. Cora Harlan is live at Urbanite this morning in Southeast Portland with a tour of what's being called Portland's Lifestyle Store. This is so cool, Cora. Where are you right now? Looks like we don't have any audio from Core. I don't know if there's a, a, a mic issue. Oh, there. Okay, wait. I think I'm hearing no him now. No audio. Huh? Oh, still good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. We're good here. We good there. All right, we're all good. Anyway, what I was starting to say is uh, we're out here in the central east side industrial area here, where some of this giant warehouse space still exists and is still a place uh, that is just a perfect canvas to put out local artists, their creations, their crafts. Uh, this is Rachel Coyote, who kind of. Uh, you're the curator, the lead curator of all this stuff. You have how many different people bringing stuff here? Uh, 54 different. 54 small different, businesses. and and how many different uh, small business? I mean, there's 30. We have 54 small businesses and 20 different showrooms. Thank 22 you. Showrooms. Thank you. Yeah. This that we're in here, I wanted to show this off because this is really cool. Would you tell me just a little bit about this? Yeah, this is pretty wonderful. This is Indiella, and she uses uh, salvaged ends of sari fabrics to reinvigorate and remake. Uh, beautiful new product. So what we have here are a whole lot of cushions, a whole lot of blankets, cantha blankets, upholstered items, and these beautiful floor cushions as well that are all made from things that would have been in the landfill that are now reclaimed and redeveloped. All right, let's stop for a minute. Well, these cushions are just yeah. dynamite. Back up a second, Carl, because these are what we're talking about here right. now. All right, so I'm at home, right? I'm doing whatever. I'm having right. a beer. I'm watching TV. I'm video game, and I'm doing whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. It's comfortable. This is made out of it's made out of uh, reclaimed salvage ends from saris who would have been dumped in the dump. And it's stuffed and with, uh, with the... Um, the same material you would find inside a futon, so it's very firm and very comfortable and retains its shape for a long time. Now, in India, this would have been made, perhaps, they might have a little extra left over that would probably go to the landfill. The saris would have been made, the and saris. then she reclaims that material and makes them into furniture. So this is stuff that would have been in the landfill that she's reclaimed, returned into furniture, which is which is good Absolutely. for everybody. Absolutely, and right? in the process, she's actually supporting small village handcrafts by having individual makers make them. Okay, so then you get up the chair, right? Now the chairs are stacked on top of one another. How do you how do you do this? You can actually turn this into a queen size bed. Correct? Uh, just a twin. Just, just a, a twin. twin. Yep. So it can sit the next cushions to are, the other. Cushions are big enough so you can just pop them out there. Yeah. And lay them down and make a bed. Lay them side by side, yeah. and you actually have the size of a twin bed, which fits a twin sheet. Oh, the fabrics are just dynamite. I mean, I just think yeah. the design on some of these fabrics is dynamite. I yeah. mean, this is perfect if you live in small space, or if you have a kid's bedroom, you want your kids over for the weekend, or some friends over for the weekend. That is perfect for small space because it's a chair, it's a bed, and it's a whole lot more. Some of this other stuff over here, too. Carl, can you make your way over here? Two other things I want to show you about. This is like, <laughs> and this it's should actually, be called big man's body pillow that's right exactly here. exactly right. It's super snuggly. And it's made of, you know, selvage that's actually silk. So it's really soft. It's very durable. Silk is one of the strongest materials out there. And uh -huh. it's going to last for ages. It's just so awesome. The colors on some of these fabrics are really neat. This chair here, for instance, really caught my eye. Look at how bright those purples are. And again, this is handmade. It is. Huh? Yeah. Yep. And stuffed on there just beautiful the color and last but not least this caught my eye too now I know a lot of pets that would love this but I'd be ashamed to put a pet on it somehow but it's a beautiful it's a beautiful same kind of deal right it's stuffed with the futon material yep. where did the outside material come from uh, it's salvage sari fabric so in India many 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 yards of fabric are used for making saris it's a very staple of your wardrobe and at the end of a making of a particular sari run, there's going to be extra fabric. And this is reclaimed and rebuilt. Well, it's just cool. Look at all the, the speckles in there. And I'll and tell you, pets absolutely adore these. We yeah. sold so many over the holidays, and they're just as, you know, and it also so many people working at home right now, it's nice to have an extra seat somewhere just to park it and relax and not be at a desk. I love that. I love this lady's work. She's done a great job here from Urbanite PDX. I'll, I'll uh, take us out here. And again, there are different, how many different different <laughs> stations do you have here? We have 22 different showrooms, 54 different small businesses, and all of them are local, locally sourced, 
locally supporting and we're trying to elevate as many small businesses as we can under one roof. Right, right. And a lot of smaller businesses that have started here, Emily, have gone on to do brick and mortar stores of their Much own. Much bigger things, yeah. Much we tend things. to be a bit of an incubator. So people will come, um, start here, kind of develop their business plan, develop their look, become more refined. And then as, you know, much exciting parenting is, you get that fledgling <laughs> out on their own in their own brick and mortar. So That's it's very an awesome exciting. store. Awesome <laughs> store. A lot of good things going on here and a lot of comfortable places to sit here, Emily. I'll tell you that right now. It looks like it, Cora. Those are some very cool cushions, <laughs> and, and that seems like the kind of store that there's something in every corner. You could spend all day just kind of wandering through there, so it looks like a lot of fun. You could. Yeah. You could, and there is. That's exactly right. Very cool. Okay, well, we'll find more nooks and crannies coming up on AM Extra. More fun stuff to check out. Thanks, Cora.